And remember, if you are wigging it or weaving it, you still have to look after your hair underneath. Hello, it's Laifa. How are you? Yes. I got my hair back. We can talk about it now. I've finally taken out the wig, the weave, you know what I mean? This video should be a learning experience, not just for myself, but for you. So after wearing my wig for about four weeks, I knew it was time to take it out, which means damage control. Although wigging it was a form of protective styling, which is great, there will always be an element of damage caused through the tension of the braids, the weight of the tracks or the wig, and the scalp not getting enough fresh air. Not forgetting, of course, the natural buildup of dirt, which creates knotting and tangling. Remember, the longer you leave your protective styling, the more buildup of dirt, which could lead to more damage being caused, hence why it's important to really treat your hair once you take it out. But here I am taking it out and as you can see, I don't have that much build up compared to usually when I used to take out my hair from protective styling. This is simply because I didn't put any products in my hair to begin with and every time I wanted to moisturise my hair I would just spritz it with water. Now at this point I'm massaging my scalp, giving it a really good massage and I spent time doing this because it was necessary. Now here I am giving myself a light trim. Now I like to do this on stretched dry hair and I'm only taking less than half a centimeter off because I'm doing it myself. It's not necessary to go crazy. I don't want to make too many mistakes and at some point I will get a professional trim but this is a good way to just take care of those ends once you've taken out your hair. So I continue to just trim just a smidgen of hair off it really isn't necessary to go crazy because my hair is curly anyway it's not that noticeable should it be uneven which is the beauty of curly hair in general it's a lot more forgiving when it comes to trimming your hair now at this point I'm just checking that both sides are even and once I'm happy with that I just twist it away and get ready to wash my hair. Now at this point I did use apple cider vinegar which I do not recommend. I highly recommend after you've protective style your hair for a while that you should use a shampoo. Go ahead because you will have build up and you will have dirt that you need to remove. I was quite adamant that I wanted to try it with just extremely hot water and apple cider vinegar. This didn't cut it because obviously my hair has been hidden away for about four weeks so I had to rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse. Now at this point I used onion as a deep condition and this is great but I will get onto what I did with the onion. I will talk about this in the next video. So here I am just placing it all over my edges and around my temples and once I've done that I just place it all over my hair and I cover it up with about three or four shower caps and I put a towel over it and just let it sit for about 30 minutes. You can use your regular deep conditioning method, it's fine. And here I am rinsing it out again with hot water. When I tell you this took me ages. My hair still wasn't clean which meant that I had to wash my hair about three to four times before it was completely clean. Hence why I advise going ahead and using shampoo because it really is necessary. You need a clean scalp and a clean head of hair. And remember, if you are wigging it or weaving it, you still have to look after your hair underneath. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, think smart, work hard, make it happen. Bye.